So I've decided to make a short video on uh, fitting best fit line to some data points in MATLAB or Octave, which is very easy, using the least squares method. So to get started, we've got our x values and the corresponding y values. And we want to fit this to a straight line. So we're going to use the format y equals ax. We want the a value plus c. So the way to do this is we make a matrix A equals 1 times we want the A times X and then we're going to get a column for 1 times the C value. So we're just going to use 1s, 7, 1, which is the length obviously of this column vector. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So let's just see how the matrix will look. So this is going to be the x value. So we need the coefficient to multiply with that. And this is going to be 1c. So we just need the value for that. So what we do is we're going to use a n equals the transpose of a times a. And bn equals a transpose times y, which is going to be the b value. And then our solution is going to simply be a n divided by, it's not quite divided by bn, it's the Gaussian method for finding the solution. And that should give us the value. So that's going to be the value for a and the value for c. Now to plot this, I'm going to start off by saying hold on, grid on, and then plot x and y. And let's use blue circles. Let's see how that looks like. So there's our points. So we're going to try and fit a straight line to that. I'm just going to say clear figure. So what we then do is we're going to make new x values. We'll call it x1 equals lin space. We'll take it from 1 to 10 to cover the data's range. And I, y1 equals. So that's going to be a which in this case is the solution xn's first value times x1. I'm going to use these, val these values to draw the line and not these ones. Plus xn2. Times x1 plus xn2. So let's plot that and see. Plot x1, y1, red. And that should draw the line. So that will be our best fit line. So now we want to estimate the error that we found with that line. So what we can do is just simply say the error, error equals a times xn minus y, which is the b value. Let's see what that shows. Just gonna, don't want to show all of this data. Okay, so for the first one, the error is minus 3.5. So the line starts off too low below the line. This one should be fairly smaller, minus 0.125. Now what's nice is you don't have to use a straight line. So say we want to fit this to a polynomial to the degree 2. So let's say, let's say y1 is a straight line. And we want to see this looks maybe more like like it should be curved so what we can do is we can maybe use the formula y2 equals ax squared plus bx plus c so to do that we just need to add x squared and an x. This will stay the same. Still going to plot x and y. We just need to change this now to xn1 times x1 squared plus xn2 times x1 plus xn3. So if all is correct, that should give us then, instead of a straight line there, curved line. Let's see. 
and that is probably a better fit. You can still see the error. If you want to see the, the, the length of the error vector, you can just say error 1 equals the norm of error. And that should give you a, an idea. So just quickly changing it up, you go from a linear to a second degree polynomial. Obviously you can use polyfit, but this seems to work quite well. Now what if you've got a different uh, like a trigonometric function that you want to fit. You can use exactly the same way. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change these values up. Let's make this x equals 1 1.23, 1.98, 2.27, 3, 4.01, 5.64. We want to transpose this to make it a column vector. Okay, and y, we're going to change the values to 1.89. Um, Let me just put brackets there. 1 1.89.97. for instance. Let's just see if it's the same amount. 2, 3, Four, five, six. So we're just going to change this. Okay, so obviously we need to change the formula. Say we want to fit this y equals a sin x plus a plus c. So now we need to change this, these ones, to sin x and the ones to six. Because there's six values one two three four five six i can just push this one forward it's more obvious something like that also transpose this okay so let's see what we've got we want to fit it to this line a sin x plus c so we've got our sin x and we've got our ones for the c this is going to all stay the same the lint space will just change for this range from maybe one to six And then obviously the formula at the bottom we need to change to our new formula. We want to have uh, xn1, which is going to be the a value, times sin x1 plus xn2, which is our c value. So if all is correct, this should actually be plotting our curve. So you can see there's a nice sine curve going through this. It doesn't oscillate through zero because we've got our C value. You can work out your error. And it's as easy as that to fit a line using the least squares method with MATLAB. And you can use exactly the same program for Octave.